Hello friends. In this tutorial, I will go through the installation of Windows Server 2016 using a VM in Oracle VirtualBox. You can also burn the Windows Server 2016 ISO image to a DVD or a flash drive and boot your physical server or computer from it. To successfully complete the Windows Server 2016 installation, you need a physical or virtual machine with minimum 1.4 GHz faster 64-bit processor with minimum 512 MB RAM and it requires minimum 32 GB free disk space to install Windows Server 2016 and internet access is optional. So for this demonstration, I am using Oracle VM VirtualBox and already I created one virtual machine for this demonstration. And also I mounted the ISO image of Windows Server 2016 Evolution Edition. So let's fire up our VM and start installation process. This is the first screen we get after booting from the ISO image. On the screen, you can select language to install, time and currency format and keyboard or input method. I will leave it to default and just clicking on next. On the screen, you just have to click on install now to start the installation process. On the next screen, you are asked if you want to run Windows Server 2016 in a core mode with no GUI or with a desktop experience. But this is the Windows Server 2016 Evolution Edition ISO image. That's why we have options to select Windows Server 2016 Standard Evolution or Windows Server 2016 Data Center Evolution. This is the Windows Server 2016 in a core mode without GUI. And this is the Windows Server 2016 data center evolution with desktop experience feature. So for this demonstration, we are selecting data center evolution with desktop experience. Select it and then click on next. Accept the license agreement on the next screen and then click on next. On this screen, you can choose between an upgrade or a custom installation. I am building this server from a scratch, so I will select custom. Select the drive where you want to install Windows Server 2016. Let's click on New. Let's click on Apply. Click on OK. And click on Next. Now the installation will begin. So far the Windows Server 2016 installation is not much different than Windows Server 2012 R2. After a couple of automatic reboots, you will be asked to enter a password for the built-in administrator account. So after restart, you will be asked to enter a password for the built-in administrator account. Let's specify the password and then click on finish. At login screen, use controller to delete to sign in. Let's specify the password of our administrator account and then press enter. I must say, Windows Server 2016 installation was so smooth and simple. It seems like Windows Server 2016 does not use much resources and is very fast. The initial installation is very similar to Windows Server 2012 R2, but the desktop interface once the installation is completed is based on Windows 10. Let's click on local server. So this is the way how you can install Windows Server 2016 in Oracle VM VirtualBox. Again I will say. The installation is quite similar to Windows Server 2012 installation process. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.